Well, I suppose if you're gonna name a delay pedal after a famous guitar player, it might as well be The Edge. What's going on, friends? I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, and welcome to this week's episode of Stompbox Saturday. Now, last week on the show, we took a look at the Mini Super Chorus, part of a group of new mini pedals added to Nux's Mini Core Stompbox series. And this was a powerful little pedal, if I do say so myself. But for every modulation, it needs a companion delay, or at least I feel it needs a companion delay. And we get that today in the form of the Edge Delay. Housed inside a very pretty and sparkly purplish pinkish enclosure is a delay pedal juggernaut. Three controls to get you the basic delay sound that you usually see on any basic analog delay. We have our mix to control wet dry blend, repeat to control the amount of repeats, and then a delay time knob. But if you look closely around the delay time knob are fractions. That's because this pedal, despite it only having one foot switch, also has tap tempo. And just like last week with the mini super chorus, the edge delay also supports mono and stereo operation thanks to its TRS input and output jacks. And of course, the addition of a USB-C connector means that Nux is gonna be up to some delay pedal trickery somewhere down the road. So what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and plug in the edge delay and check out the three different modes, first in mono, and then we'll switch over to stereo. <laughs> The Phi digital mode built into the edge delay is fantastic sounding as a model digital delay. Now, when you look at the company's website, it shows a stylized picture of what it's based on. And according to my eyes and also my experience with the company's products, this is based on new neighbors, Echelon Echo. Now, I don't remember there being a dual delay mode on the Echelon stock. There may have been one in the Expanse software for all I know. But I will say that the idea is certainly something that I would picture Brian cooking up in his head. And this sounds great. It doesn't stick out as this ice picky kind of digital thing, but everything is nice and clear. Now that phi thing, it's part of the golden ratio and it's adding on a secondary repeat to the tempo that you tap in, which you notice I tapped in a tempo after we turned on the pedal. I'm gonna increase the repeats and I'm gonna tap in something a little bit slower and I'm gonna swell some things in.
Well, if there's any mode that personifies the edge in edge delay, it's the analog mode, which Nux says is based on a DM2. But I have a sneaking suspicion they really were going for the memory man vibe here. It's got all the stuff about analog delay that you want, those somewhat dark and murky repeats with just enough treble content to really, you know, get the point across, I guess I can say but everything just melds together in this very musical way that is just an absolute joy to play. I think this might be my favorite mode, but I do think that this mode gives us a good opportunity to check out the subdivisions around the time knob. Of course, I went for the three quarter being a dotted eighth delay because that kind of exemplifies this guy's style, but we can do so much more just based off these subdivisions. If you wanna go one to one, whatever you tap in is the echo that you get. Just go ahead and slap it in the one position, tap in, and you have what you need. But tapping in some really fast sounds is kind of cumbersome on any tap tempo switch. Say you really want your slapback echo to really time out with what it is that you're playing and whoever your drummer is. You can go ahead and set it to say, oh, I don't know, maybe the quarter mode would be a good one to try out. And we'll just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four. And let's see what that does. Not bad, I think that'll work for us if we just turn down the repeats. This is something that calls for the telly. Now we've already heard a tape echo from Nux earlier this year in the form of their Verdugo series tape echo, which of course is based on the space echo. And I feel like this is a simplified version of that and a very well done one at that. This does do some of those artifacts of tape echo such as this. <laughs> But this is a great mode to use with some distortion. That tonality of the tape just works really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with that. We're gonna use the tap tempo. I'll throw it in the one-to-one -one mode and kick on the Rev G3 and have some riffing and some soloing fun. Thank you. 
We have two amps hooked up. It's time to hear the edge delay in stereo. But before we hear anything, I do want to remind you of how you swap between mono and stereo on these little pedals. And the process is very similar to the one that we used for the mini super chorus pedal we looked at last week. First, press and hold down on the little button that allows you to select the three different modes on the edge delay and apply your 9 volt power supply. Now, there is an LED in that little button that will either flash blue or red depending on the mode that you choose. Flashing blue means you're running mono, and flashing red means you're running stereo. There is one little caveat I want to remind you of, and that is that you're going to need either a TRS cable or some form of Y breakout cable in order to operate in stereo on these little mini Nux pedals. I have a few different pedals on the floor all running in mono, the last pedal being my Morley volume pedal, and that's running mono into the front of a Boss DC2W. Now that has stereo ins and outs, but if I plug in mono, it's gonna feed signal to both outputs. Then I'm going out stereo of the DC2W into the tip and ring breakouts of the Y cable I have plugged into the edge delay. That's feeding a left and a right signal, and it's going out the left-right signal into the front of my Rockerverb 100, which you will hear panned hard left, and the Black Spirit 200, which you will hear panned hard right. So this portion of the video, you might want some headphones. Let's just enjoy the sounds. I'm gonna quit talking, and we're just gonna play.
have it friends the edge delay from new x's mini core stomp box series these two pedals the mini super chorus and the edge are just a match made in heaven incredibly powerful and incredibly toneful and just an absolute joy to play and i still do feel like the edge delay edges out no pun intended the mini super chorus in terms of power and capabilities both mono and stereo operation give you incredibly lush delay tones. Love the analog mode in mono. Love the digital in stereo. Love the tape in both. The edge delay is really a pedal that is for everyone. This would be a fantastic first delay pedal for any beginning guitar player or guitar player wanting to get their feet wet in effects pedals. But at the same time, if you're like me and have a ton of expensive pedals, have pedals with far more features and they're far bigger than this, this still holds up. When you need a good delay in a pinch and you don't wanna think about it, just grab this thing, slap it down on your pedal board and you're good to go. You've got everything you need to get through a gig with a wide array of sounds and features that you're not gonna be feeling wanting. But of course, everything I've just said about the edge delay is my opinion, and I would love to hear from all of you. What did you think of the sounds built into the edge delay? And what do you think that Nux might get up to with this USB-C connector? Whatever your speculation and whatever your comment, I would love to see it in the comment section down below. And if you would, I would greatly appreciate your support in helping this channel continue to grow and bringing more people into our little corner of the internet. All you need to do is click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That's the simplest thing. But if you wanna go one step above and beyond and join my email pedal club, go to seanpiercejohnson.com slash email dash list and give me your name and email address. Click sign me up and and that is it. Every video I make is sent direct to your email inbox without algorithms messing things up. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me, everyone. I sincerely hope you enjoyed yourselves. And until we see each other again, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all watching great tone, great health, a happy holidays, and of course, happy stomping. Cheers, friends. See you in the future. God bless.